hello guys welcome to how to fix tech you can see the error on the Dell laptop no bootable device found so my Dell laptop is not booting up and it's not starting okay so how to troubleshoot this issue so let me zoom in so this is the error you can see here so in order to fix this issue we need to press the power key for almost 10 seconds and properly shut it down okay now we need to remove all the externals cables if you have like mouse cables power cables whatever cables we have okay then boot it up and in the Dell laptop the bootable key will be F2 this option once I turn on my PC I will continuously hit F2 once the screen comes okay now you can see keyboard is blinking now release it now you can also press ctrl alt and delete button together and after that we will hit the F2 key so first of all go to the boot sequence this option and make sure the boot sequence is selected here okay but in my case the system file not found so go to time date and time make sure the time and date is correct here okay you can change the time and date from here okay once you check the date is correct here you need to go to the this tab system configuration expand that and go to SATA operation okay and make sure AHCI is selected here click on that AHCI click on yes okay click on apply click on okay once you check that it should be on a AHCI start operation go to drives then tick two options here SATA 2 and the this option both should be tick here then click on apply okay once you made the changes first of all go to exit and we will check if the issue is solved or not if your issue persists I will show you the another method to fix this issue so stay with us let me check my error is gone or not okay let me press F1 okay now you can see the system is booting up but you can see it's still not booting let me again try it's booting but its window is not loading so we need to troubleshoot this issue as well now you can see now I need to again press ctrl alt delete button together and go to BIOS again continuously hit like this ok now go to this option this time boot sequence ok and it is already selected here you can see the boot sequence is already western digital hard drive is showing here Okay, let me choose to the this option legacy here choose legacy and then you need to select here the hard drive first here okay make sure that it is up if it is down like this disable drive select that up okay and once it is selected so go to the this tab advanced boot options and make sure enable legacy 
option room is enabled here since the legacy support it is room so click on tick this option and we need to disable the TPM okay go to secure boot and this should be disabled you can see it is already disabled here okay so if it is enabled like this just disable that option if you if you have chosen the boot sequence to legacy okay once you select legacy click on apply and click on ok and click on exit and let me check the issue is solved or not ok still showing the same error i need to again press ctrl alt delete button and continuously hit f2 issue is still persists if your issue is solved then well and good if not you can continue we will troubleshoot this issue step by step okay go to this option boot sequence okay and this time choose the this option which says uefi okay click on apply and you need to uncheck that option which you have previously this option untick this apply okay and also go to secure boot okay I enable this option apply and click on exit Okay, let me press F1 here. Press F1 for reboot. Let me reboot it. Press F1. Okay, preparing automatic repair loop. Okay, diagnosing your PC. Okay, now you can see it is showing the different errors so let me shut it down okay let me turn on this computer now and continuously hit the app 2 okay and this time we will just click on this option restore default okay and bios default we can choose here or factory settings so let me choose the factory settings here click on ok all the system setting currently will be lost ok ok and let's see the error is gone or not okay so finally you can see the Dell is coming and the issue has been resolved now as you can see the issue seems to be big but we have troubleshoot this issue successfully you can see the Dell is booting now and let me click on this option now you can see the error is gone now okay so this is how you can troubleshoot this issue you need to tick that option which is for user user interface and also check the hard drive okay so hope your issue is fixed now if your issue is fixed then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching how to fix tag